Hey guys, it's Daniela with California Carnivores and today I'm going to show you how to build your very own Venus flytrap bog. You all know I love Venus flytraps, they're one of my absolute favorites and I actually have a little bog that I put together at my house and I grew it out on my patio and it makes me so happy. So we based this kit on that design. Now Venus flytraps can grow super happily outdoors in many areas for the spring and summer. If you live in an extremely warm area like Arizona or even Southern California, you may want to grow them in full morning sun, protect them from the full afternoon sun. Make sure they're always sitting in distilled water, but luckily with this kit, you're going to get a saucer, a pot, the soil, and a selection of flytraps, so you get a really deep saucer that you can then keep filled with the distilled water that your plants need. If you have questions about Venus flytrap care, about door winter dormancy, all of that stuff, I actually have several different care guides in my uh, YouTube and on my website, all of these places. So I've got all the resources for you. Go ahead to the website or the YouTube and check them out. But in the meantime, let's put together this amazing Venus flytrap bog. A trap bog kit, I jumped ahead a few steps just to save us some time, but let's review really quickly what actually comes in this kit. First, it's gonna come with our nice deep saucer, which you can always keep full of water to make these thirsty Venus fly traps happy. It comes with our very durable favorite bog pot because it has great drainage holes and it lasts forever. It's gonna come with two bags of soil mix, which you're going to have to mix together because they come separated into peat moss and perlite. Dump those into a nice big bowl, put in some distilled water and mix them all up until they're a nice consistency. You want them to be so like clay where they hold a nice ball shape like this but not where they're mushy and running apart like mud. Then you're really gonna wanna pack your bog in because it's shocking how much this stuff will settle and sink. Next, you're gonna get a selection of Venus flytraps. We're gonna send you a mix of different things. We do like to duplicate some of them. So in this case, for my example, I have two red dragons, two Dianea typicals, and two dentate flytraps because it's really nice to have those repetition of theme, form, color, and shape when you're building a bog. It just makes it look really pretty. So in this case, I wanted to show you some different options. So the red dragons are just huge single plants, but the typicals and the dentes in this case came really clumpy. Like you can see this one in the back is super duper clumpy. This one I planted as is, and it would look a lot like this. This one was super clumpy and I actually pulled it apart. This one was clumpy and I pulled it apart. If you're really delicate and careful, you can tease these plants apart and then you can get even more fly traps. You don't have to do that. If you're a little bit nervous, just leave them clumpy. They're gonna transplant even better. So the first step is you're gonna take off, you just kind of use your fingernails, pull slightly, and very delicately pull all of this paper right off. Very gently pull, and you can already see we have some great little roots here. Now, you could 100% just put this directly in the soil, and it would actually have really low transplant shock, but if you wanna try and get more plants spread out in your bug, you can very delicately just start teasing apart the soil to reveal multiple plants underneath. Usually they pretty easily separate. So this I just start to gently pull. And actually the traps are tangled themselves, which is so funny. But look, I've got two beautiful plants here. So now I'm just going to, I have all of this root that I wanna try and fit in here. So I'm just gonna make a nice hole. Put this in. And you don't wanna bury it deeper than the actual dirt line on the rhizome already. That's kind of a perfect a perfect marker for where you want to put it in. So let's put this guy in. Make all this make sure all the roots are in there. And very I'm going to firmly make sure that that's in place. You're going to trigger traps. Don't worry about that. Uh oh, I can't remove a little bit. We'll just put it right back. <laughs> Life in the greenhouse. So this guy is perfect and done. The last step is always to water your plants in. You want to water them in. And it's okay if a little soil runs over the side. It's no fun if it's not messy, right? When you water them in, that's really great because it actually reduces the air pockets in the soil and makes sure that those roots have firm contact with the actual soil, which is really important for them to get their moisture and other important nutrient uptake. So here's a little bog. And by tomorrow morning, all of these traps are actually, actually going to be super upright and happy. Today, they just got watered and they got a little manhandled, so they're a little bit lower to the ground. This is a great bog. I'm so obsessed with it. Here it is. I completed Venus flytrap bog kit. I'm so excited about this, even though it's fully like just dripping down my arms. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my job. That's my life. It's just peat moss and water everywhere all the time. Um, anyway, I love this kit. I'm super excited about it. I think everyone should grow Venus flytrap. So I really, really hope that you guys try it. This is a great introductory way to get everything you need to make the, make the perfect little bog. So I hope you love it. 
if you do build this fog, I'm begging you to please post pictures of it for me on social media and just tag California carnivores. We're on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and seeing your guys' fogs and your plants really, really makes me happy because I'm a very big plant nerd and this is my total obsession. And so when I see you guys loving our plants, it makes my day. And don't forget, you can totally personalize this. You can add little figurines and rocks and geodes and crystals and make it your own. And I can't wait to see them. All right, happy growing.